Hey there, TRW Crew, Matt Vassallo here with rhinestoneworld.com. So this video tutorial is going to go over our duplicate button in the TRW Stone Wizard. Very easy button to use, so let's just say you uh, draw a square right here. And we have a blue, we just want to duplicate it. It's going to duplicate it right on top of each other. So as you can see now, we have two squares. Click on both of them, I can duplicate. There you go, four squares. So very easy button. Good thing about a duplicate button with um, with rhinestones at different times. With the duplicate button, what you can do is you can play around with it as far as brightening up, bright, brightening up the design on, let's say, like a shirt mock-up so, or a dark background. So let's say we want to change these to crystal real quick. And we just want to draw a black box around it real quick. There you go. We can use our send to back, send selection to back. That's going to show us our cowboy hat. Now you can see the cowboy hat good. If you duplicate it though, it's just going to brighten it up a little bit. So you'll see when I'm zoomed out here, see how it's not very bright right now. If I highlight it and duplicate it, it's just going to brighten it up so it's a little bit easier to see. So duplicate feature also works for stuff like that, but obviously the main thing purpose of the duplicate feature is just to make another object. So duplicate, now you got two squares. We got both of them. Duplicate, now you got four squares. So great feature. You'll use it a lot in the program, but just wanted to make it easy, an easy button there for you to be able to duplicate different objects in the TRW Stone Wizard. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the duplicate button in the TRW Stone Wizard. If you do have any questions, make sure to give us a call. Number is 941-755-1696. Again, this is Matt with the rhinestoneworld.com and you guys all have a great day.